Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nitori and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 98 on a PCM and playing some games on it. Why PCM? You might ask. Well, as you probably have noticed, VirtualBox as well as VMware doesn't work well with Win98X version of Windows. They're only good for anti base of Windows like Windows 2000 or Windows XP. Trust me, if you're trying to install Windows 98 on VirtualBox, you're gonna experience a lot of hell. Like, you won't be able to get it running properly because those who won't emulate your CPU or the GPU. Sometimes you have to set uh, something special, so just in order to fetch the first error. I get a lot of error messages from VirtualBox when I try to install Windows 98. Turns out that Windows 98 is too old that it can detect my processor. So yeah, lots, lots of work. I say thanks to Muta from some ordinary gamers for introducing PCM. Anyway. We are for today. Let's go. Let's go to this this GitHub page. I already put it on the description below. Please check it. So we have to go to download uh, all of them. But first of all, you have to download the PCM first, and then you can download the ROM. Yes, even a uh, computer need a ROM. You can go to release and then just click on PCM ROMs dot seven zip. And then you just extract the PCM to anywhere, and then for the ROM you have you just extract it to the ROM folder on inside the PCM folder. So you can start a PCM now, and then press plus to create a new virtual machine. Just press, uh, just name it what you want, and then for me for the machine let's let's select the most bottom one, slot one. That's the most recent one. You can you can change to whatever. Uh, uh, motherboard you want but for this video we just uh, go with the gigabyte and then just leave it all as default for the display let's select 3dfx Pudu 3 to 3000 you could actually select other one you want to just as long as you have the driver's light ray and then for the speed let's select fast vlb pci and turn on the Fudu graphics for the sound let's select the sound blaster 16 and then go to next for this, for this HDD FDD, just leave it as uh, uh, default, and then for the type, just create a new hard drive. For me, image format, I set it to uh, dynamic size VHD, and then for the size, I set it around like 2048 because that there be enough for Windows 98 to be honest. And as for the mouse, I actually found like if you use small system 3 button, it kinda crash. So let's just use 2 button mouse or Intelli mouse. If you use Intelli mouse, you can actually scroll down. For the joystick, let's just skip it. And for the network adapter, let's choose Realtek RTL. And then press OK. And then run the system. Load image, load your legitimate copy of Windows 98 Second Edition. Oh, before that you have to put a uh, boot disk too. So let's go to select this since drive A and then choose your boot disk. Press Enter one. So this is this will be just a uh, very straightforward. So yeah, let's just do what I did on the screen and you'll be good to go. Yeah, so and now we are already in the setup menu. So yeah, just accept it anyway. Who, who read it anyway? <laughs> and then you have to put your legitimate copy of your Windows 98 serial number. Yeah, so I personally, you can just skip, skip it, press next, 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 and next. But for me, I, I really want to add more, more things to it. So yeah. Anyway, just next, go next, next, next. And next. It take me about like 30 minutes because you are using a uh, emulated Celeron processor. You will be experienced like a real Celeron processor too. So it, the installation won't be fast. So at this time, I actually just play any games in the background. So in the meantime, let's download the driver for the graphic card and the DirectX installer. I will put everything in, in the description below. For this video, I download the driver for 3DFX Fudu. So let's just uh, download it. But first, you need a software like Ultra ISO to create an ISO file. So yeah, I, I download this file and then extract it and then put everything in an ISO file. 
including that DirectX installer. I probably didn't have it uh, in this video, but most of the time you will have like corrupted system file. And when it asks you for the missing system file, you have to insert your Windows 98 disk and then just browse like the disk drive and then choose the Win Win 98 folder and then you press enter. It will search it for you and fix it for you. Usually it will like that, but they are in this in this video case, I didn't experience any anything. So that's good, I guess. As for the sound though, I still don't know how, how to fix this uh, stuttering sound. Maybe I'll, I'll fix it later. I still don't know how. So, as you can see now, we already installed the Windows 98. Now you can go to change your CD-ROM, to that CD-ROM you have created earlier, and then run this driver setup. After running the setup though, now, now, you, now you can see that after you install the driver, uh, the video driver, you can set the graphics to higher resolution. So that's good. You, you, can, you can actually do this in a uh, virtual box unless you have that generic driver. That generic driver may be only good for a while, but it's not good. You can play any games with that. So let's install the DirectX. For me though, I use DirectX V8, so yeah. I run the DX setup and just press install and then do what it want. Now you have DirectX running, so that's very good. <laughs> right? So now you only need to you can you can test any games you want to run. See if you can run it. As for the internet though, yeah, just do it what I did here. Just manually connect into internet LAN. Press just to uh, LAN. And then next, next, next. And now you can you can connect to internet now. So for this video purpose, I I'll, I'll show you. See, video if, even plays fine. So now let's install this Motocross Madness. It's one of my childhood games. Too bad, bad then I only play the trial version. You can even play this game on a Windows XP in a virtual box because like it. It does emulate your graphic card, but in here we we are emulating the Fudu 3000 graphic card. So yeah, as you can see here, the performance is, is okay. It's not the best, but it's playable. Please don't expect that you can you can run like Half Life or what what uh what kind of game, very uh battery smooth. But yeah, at least you can play it running it. I'll show you another, another game like Monster Truck Madness too. It's also my childhood game. I, too bad I already uh, play the trial version back then. So now you can see that it actually works. It works fine. See? Not even lagging a bit. So yeah guys, that's about it. I hope this video helped you on uh, to clear out your, your desire to play an old games on a virtual machine so yeah that's about it like and subscribe dislike is if you dislike it and i'll see you in the next video